Hey, it's Kay. Hope you're feeling cute today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. As you can see, I tried a new makeup look today. <laughs> For no reason. And I really like it. And I'm also wearing a dress. Which kind of gives me witch vibes. So for today's video, we will be unboxing the Joy Hello album and the case version. This was supposed to be in the previous video, but I realized um, the video is going to be too long if I include this. So I decided to make a separate video. If you're new to my channel, Joy is my ultimate K-pop girl. I like her so much. She made me discover Red Velvet and Red Velvet made me discover other K-pop groups like Blackpink, ITZY, and Espa. Yeah, I mean, I knew about K-pop before I got to know them, but I didn't really dive into the K-pop world before I met Red Velvet. Just to put it out there, I don't really buy or collect a lot of K-pop albums just because um, sometimes I don't have the budget for it and my room isn't big enough to have a space for all of my albums to be displayed. For me, if I'm going to buy an album, I don't want to keep it in a box. But I do keep it in a box right now because I don't have any space to display it. I only buy albums if I had the budget or if I couldn't resist it. And this is one of those times that I just couldn't resist buying this. Because it's Joy's first solo album and I really like Joy so much. I got the photo book version and then the case version. So I ordered this from Soul Stop. I got a free poster. So yeah, this is a really big poster. Can't open it right now, but I'm gonna show you in this clip right here. They also gave me these cards. This is a freebie from the shop that I ordered from. And yes, I cut my nails because I didn't really want to wear long nails because I might damage the album. And now let's move on to the unboxing. So this album contains six remake korean songs which are classics that were originally released in the 1990s to early 2000s and that explains the concept of the cover of this album look at her very y2k so let's open it Oh, I think these were part of the teaser photos. Oh, cute. Cute. This way. Korean writings here and also I think this is French Toi et moi eternal element <laughs> and then this is the happy birthday to you concept which is really cute and right here we have some very inspirational quotes anyone can become the main character in a movie by capturing the moment True. A happy life and a special relationship that you have long been looking for might be silently embracing you right next to you. 
Therefore, the happiest moment for me is no particular day or time, but this moment right now where you and I are facing each other. This second I am facing you like this is the moment is the most <laughs> is the most precious moment to me. I love every moment with you. I really love how they incorporated the Y2K style in this photo shoot because it's in line with the album since all of the songs came out like in 1990s and early 2000s. Look at Joy and Pinktails! Je t'aime. Je t'aime. Je t'aime. So yeah, the first concept is hello, which is like a Y2K style. And then the second concept is je t'aime. I mean, the second song is je t'aime. And the concept is like cottagecore. Very floral, very feminine. Cottagecore style with her book and the flowers. She's so pretty. Grabe, ganda. I really like her dress here too. It's so pretty. And the Polaroids. Aww. Ooh, I like this shot. Really cute. And since this is a photo book version, I'm going to pick my favorite photo out of all of the concepts in this photo book. For the first song, we have Hello. This concept is more on the white do gay style. This is my favorite photo for this song concept. And then the second concept is Je t'aime. The second song is Je t'aime. I keep on saying concept. So the second song, Je t'aime. The concept for this one, I think, is like cottagecore, um, feminine flowery vibe. And my favorite photo for this concept is really this one. Girl. Amen. And then the next song we have Day by Day. This is such a nice concept as well. Um, it's minimalistic and it shows the contrast between the white colors and her color, which is green. I really love the blazer and the nails and also the outfit for this one is really gorgeous too. Look at that. The green, um, the contrast of the green and white. This one, the Polaroid. I really like this one. So the next song is If Only. And my favorite photo for this one is... This one. I like this one so much. For the third or fourth song, we have Happy Birthday. Happy Birthday to you. My favorite photo for this one would be this one. It's so good. She looks like a queen. Well, she always does look like a queen, but. This photo just screams Audrey Hepburn, but make it pink. Okay, so the last song in this album is Be There For You. This concept for me is like a home, casual, cozy girl. And my favorite photo for this one is this one. See? I really love this one. She looks like a painting. That's it for the photo book. This is really pretty. When I saw these concept photos, like the Y2K concept photos, I thought this was going to be the concept for the music video as well. But sadly, we didn't have any scene on the music video that has this look. But yeah. The music video is great though. I just wish they included this look. Yeah, this is the photo book and I loved all of the photos. 
And now we have the cassette version. I got this because it was limited edition, I think. And I know this doesn't have any photo card inside it, but I still decided to get it because it's so unique. Like, not all groups have a cassette version of their album. And it does go with the concepts. Let's try to open it. can't open it. <laughs> After five minutes of struggling, I finally removed plastic okay <sighs> now this is the cassette Ta -da. I don't have a player but I plan on buying one and then we have Yeah, there's not really that much for this um, cassette version, but it's nice to have because it's a unique album. And yeah. And I guess that's pretty much everything that I have for this video. By the time this video comes out, I think um, Red Velvet has already come back. So I hope you can support them as well. And even if you can't buy their music or buy the albums that they have, every time that doesn't mean you're less of a fan than the other people who can afford it so you can just support them in your own way as well yeah i hope you enjoyed this unboxing video even though i was just admiring joy for 10 minutes straight and that's it for today's video see you guys on my next one also please don't forget to hit like subscribe and hit the notification bell thank you You'll be okay Don't stay Looking out the window And how late Do you plan on going home?